difference. Well, tax day, yeah, it's right around the corner. It's Tuesday, and if you haven't done your taxes yet, there are still a few things you can do to keep some cash from going to Uncle Sam. Financial planner David Ray is here with some last-minute savings tips, and boy, I can't wait to hear these. Good morning, David. Thanks so much for coming in. You've got My some good pleasure. tips. There's a lot of ways that people can lower their tax bill, and okay. hopefully you're already ready to file, but if you're not, listen to some of these tax breaks. Okay. So have you, if you fostered a pet, you oh. can actually deduct any expenses that go with fostering that pet. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, so food, vet, all kinds of stuff like that. Okay. I know you and I have both done the AIDS life cycle. Right. So I think we've got about 10,000 miles between us on a bike at, <laughs> at least. least. So any expenses you've incurred volunteering okay. or raising money for charity, okay. you can deduct any of those expenses. So picture okay. you're doing a bake sale for the school or right. for the AIDS life cycle. We flew up to San Francisco. We stayed in San Francisco and spent money along the way. Right. All of those things can be deductible. Great. So, Even, so you're doing a bake sale though. How yeah. do you, what would you do there if you've got a kid? And you're so you've got a kid, you know, it may sound simple. It's not right. a ton of money, but you've baked, you baked some brownies. The, sure. The eggs all of a sudden are deductible. Normally, oh. normally you wouldn't deduct eggs. Right. You and I can't deduct eggs for our business unless we're <laughs> doing something crazy here on right. set. But, you know, you can deduct those things that go into raising that money. And they add up, right? They, it can add up. Even right. if you're volunteering and mm -hmm. you pay a babysitter. Sure. That money can be deductible as wow. well. Okay, so I did not realize It really that. can add up. Okay, what else? So out-of-pocket business expenses, uh -huh. or so you think about it, if you're self-employed, it's pretty obvious you deduct stuff. Sure. But if you're an employee, uh -huh. unreimbursed expenses, so union dues, um, uh -huh. if you have to travel for work, there's a lot of expenses that may fall in there, or just things you go do to go above and beyond okay. to make you a better employee. Okay. A lot of those expenses can be deductible as well. Good, because you're bettering yourself, but then you can actually write this off. You can write that off. It's great for your employer, it's great for you. And it saves you some money on taxes. Okay. And you said fostering pets, so we know uh, business. What else do we have? The other one is medical expenses. Uh -huh. One of my favorite stories is someone who was able to deduct a portion of their pool. Okay. What? Yeah. What? As a medical <laughs> expense, right? Before you start digging, you do have to have a medical practitioner say that you need a pool for some medical condition. Uh -huh. So you can only deduct a portion of that pool that is tied to you treating your medical condition. So you're okay. not going to be able to deduct a whole... Pool, okay. But a portion of it can be deductible. And here in LA, a lot of us go to yeah. acupuncture, Cairo, right. even massage. If right. it's tied to your medical, it's very easy to deduct. Okay. And it can add up big time. Big time, so that's, yeah. You know, all these things add up. It's right. Just be very be diligent. Look through where, where you've already spent money. Okay. Look for ways you're already spending money. So, right. you know, we're filing taxes now. Mm -hmm. If you've already filed your taxes, good for you. Listen now for this year, for 2017. If you haven't filed your taxes, look through your 2016 spending. Okay. Pull out your credit card bills. Right. And go, oh my gosh, I did spend money volunteering or fostering a pet <laughs> or on medical expenses. <laughs> add it all up. You might save thousands of dollars off your tax bill. Right. I like the pool idea. Just don't make it an Olympic size pool. If you're an Olympic swimmer, you oh. probably well, deduct maybe. the whole pool. Most of us probably aren't <laughs> professional swimmers. We're going to be in the Olympics, so right. we can't really deduct that. But the pool is a great, a great example. And here in California, yeah. that could be thousands of dollars as well. So it's a nice, a nice thing. Good. Any others you can think of? You know, there's a million of them. But mm -hmm. just, just look at where you're spending. And okay. I think the big one is the volunteering. That's going to be a big one. And business expenses. So okay. you know, I know between you and I, we probably yeah. spent thousands of dollars raising money for for the AIDS life cycle or other charities. Right. And it can really add up. I love it. All right. Yeah. Well, let it all add up. <laughs> Amy, you heard a lot of these great tips. David Ray, thanks for coming in My so much. Pleasure. We really appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't filed it, you have a couple days left, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you got till Tuesday. Till Tuesday. All right, Amy, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Craig and David.